Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5 with a challenge. Yes, we are going racing with jelly cars. Now, this is something that we've been making in Forza games for many years back since Forza Motorsport 4. In fact, they're a very special kind of vehicle. The way it works, if you haven't come across one of these videos in the past, a car is built in such a way that when you take a corner with any sort of speed or heavy cornering, it falls over. And when I say fall over, I mean it sort of grip rolls, snaps immediately, rolls onto its roof. Uh, however, it's not completely undrivable. It's not so completely stupid. It, you know, this will go in a straight line. It will kind of drive like a normal car, but when it gets to a corner, things go horrifically weird and it falls over. They're very difficult to drive, and they have been quite difficult to make in the past. Uh, often having to, we've had to resort to using wet races to make them roll over for whatever reason. I don't know why. On Forza games, there is this Forza force that stops vehicles from falling over in the dry. However, this Toyota is so liable to falling over that it'll do it in the dry as well, which is quite something. Because while well, yes, Horizon 5 has slightly different physics to previous games, it's still uh, the Forza Force is still a thing. We're starting off with a race in the dry just to show you the kind of difficulty that we are going to have to deal with, and things have already fallen over. Uh, down there. My TV is unbelievably loud and I don't know why. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm sorry if there's any background noise in the voice recording, I don't know why it's so loud today. Um, there goes a snap, Longbow is up onto two wheels there. Uh, I have a feeling something's gone weird. Okay, there we go. So, so have I turned collisions off? I shouldn't have done. I don't know why we were all in ghost mode for so long, but I guess it was still fairly, it's, this is a pretty short lap, so to speak. Uh, we've already seen a few vehicles up on the two wheels. We're going to have a massive, ooh, a massive bolt down here. Hyper's going to have a snap, and Hyper has fallen over. Hyper is a goner. Uh, we are to the lead of the race now. I've got to be careful here. Uh, one of the easiest things to do with the jelly car, the easiest way to ruin your race is to overdrive it. Drive too aggressively, and the vehicle falls over. This circuit is a nasty one in terms of a jelly car, because you've got a lot of these sort of long corners. Long corners are what gives this car a hell of a lot of grief. Its tendency to go up onto its side. Uh, if it's a very short, sort of quick corner, you're not... Ter it's just holding the steering for any length of time. That's what does it. Um, so if you have a you call it that you're around very quickly, even if it's low speed, that's much better. Uh, this stuff here is tough for the Toyota. It's up onto its side a little bit through there. I am just kind of going for the whole don't do anything dumb. Now this is the good conditions for this car, I should point out. In the dry, while it will fall over, we've seen it fall over, um, in the dry this is much tamer than it will be in the wet, and that's saying something. Uh, <laughs> we have got Amy in second. I just looked across, flicked the camera across, and there was smoke billowing out of something. Don't know who it was. Uh, one thing that, as a thing to note, the way this and the reason why this vehicle falls over is all to do with, oh god, uh, come on now, it's all to do with grip. Basically this thing is running slick tyres. It's quite narrow and quite a tall car, very soft suspension and lots and lots of negative camber. So when it goes round a corner the body roll wants to kind of pull the car over because of the negative camber, when it does lean over in these corners, if it goes up onto its side, it suddenly gets a lot of grip because the wheels are cambered that way, and it pulls itself over. Um, it's, yeah, nasty, to, to say the least. It's not the easiest thing in the world to drive. I mean, we are just being so careful. That's what I'm doing with this vehicle here. It's, oh, it's careful. You've got to be immediately ready to counter steer. If it goes up onto its side, we've pulled an absolutely ridiculous lead in this one. It does appear I have got to grips with this vehicle quicker than everyone else. I mean, we're not really seeing the manic everyone falling over part, mostly because we've run away at the front. Can we lap a Blakey or an Impega or someone before the end of this race? It's not impossible. Oop. Come on now. Carefully does it through here. I've just got to be patient, doing lots of very little movements with the analogue sticks in this one. Uh, I think we're going to lap a Blakey at this rate. Blakey's down by the start-finish line. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is all about just as little steering lock as I can get away with. And there, for example, it's just immediately counter-steer. In that case, it would actually jump on the brakes. Uh, because the way this vehicle is rolling is caused by grip, uh, if you slide the vehicle, you can kind of counteract some of the rolling 
It's a risky maneuver to try and go for the handbrake though, because sometimes if you sort of handbrake it around a corner, the vehicle digs in and then wants to fall over even more aggressively. So it's not a method I like, not a method I'm going to go for. Blakey's doing a little dance. Hello, Blakey. Uh, <laughs> Uh, can we can we lap in Pega? There's not very often. We might lap in Pega Danger Man and Ewan at this rate. Uh, they're all further around the corner. We're jumping on the brakes here. Easily does it uh, through there. Uh, once I mean, once you get the car pointed in a straight line, I can boot it and it's fine. That's not a problem. Uh, Danger Man is the next car to try and lap. Uh, it's still Amy in second, Hyper in third. Danger Man's gone exploring a wall. <laughs> Danger Man is up onto two wheels. Uh, we are being very, very careful around the corner. Oh, and Pega has fallen over. We have lapped, and in Pega, Danger Man is wiggling around like a lunatic up there. One more lap to go. Can we catch? Can we catch you? And that's what we're going for here. Danger Man's vehicle is all over the place. Uh, <laughs> I am doing so many tiny steering movements with this. I've apparently got a technique that works with this vehicle. Uh, we're going to sneak to the inside here, around the outside of a danger man we go. That'll move us, uh, well, up another vehicle in terms of lapping here. Uh, oh, in fact, we're going to get past. There's somebody resetting. There's a Lado! Lado will, might murder us. Not intentionally if we go flying past. But <laughs> who knows, Ewan's had a huge lockup. I like, oh, I like that we do see, it does seem to sink well enough to show lockups. I could be wrong, but it does look like it's showing them at least. Can we lap a Lado here? Uh, maybe. Oh, it's a burst of throttle there. Lado actually keeps out of our way, uh, which is always appreciated. Ewan is visiting a wall over there. Ewan's got a load of understeer for all of that. Oh, I'm on the brakes. Ewan's wobbling and wobbling and wobbling. We're past Ewan. <laughs> We've lapped up to seven. We're not going to have very many vehicles finished because Chris is not very far away. Um, well, we're going to monster our way to the finish line in this one. Uh, I mean... I figured out that one. It's tough to drive, there's no doubt about it. You've got a lot of work to do with that car to keep it in check, shall we say. Uh, Hyper got the fastest lap of the race at 104.9. There we go. We, just, <laughs> we were consistent and didn't fall over in that one. Uh, yeah, you can see who's kind of figured out and <laughs> who's not quite got the hang of it in all of that. Three, I think... Maybe only three vehicles are going to finish. Gliska might. No, Gliska doesn't finish in this one. Three vehicles finished. This was in the good conditions. It's about to get worse for the cars. So, we head to a wet circuit. For whatever reason, the way the Forza Physics engine works, the force that pulls the car back onto the road and stops it from properly falling over does not happen in the wet or anywhere near as much. With this, it's going to be way easier to roll the car in the wet. And this was a vehicle that was quite easy to fall over in the dry. So this is going to be difficult. I'm going to try and not make any mistakes at the end of the day. <laughs> you kind of... If you don't roll at all, the chances are you're going to win. Even if you're not the fastest lap time-wise, because you lose so much time falling over in this one. Um, I mean, we're going to see what happens, really, with... Uh, <laughs> with this. I'm going to try and not make mistakes. I mean, the trick is also going to be not to get caught up with other people's mistakes. You know, vehicles are going to fall over around and not be wiped out by them as they fall over. Um, are we all Are we going at all? Uh, or has the game... I mean, it's trying to figure out has the game broken. Um, no, we are off. <laughs> I'm not sure why we were stopped. There was just a moment of confusion uh, in that one. Someone's fallen over. Someone has a noisemaker horn into turn one. I don't know what we were waiting for in all of that. There's a few going for the drifty technique. Yep. Uh, Ewan is trying it up ahead. I uh, mean, Peg has fallen over massively. Someone behind me has gone for a huge tumble as well. Uh, we are going to dive on the brakes. Uh, Longbow and Ewan are going for it, but it's just not quicker uh, through there. Ooh. Hello, Longbow. We have arrived with uh, some speed. Yeah, it's just not quicker to drive the vehicle like that. You kind of carry a lot more speed on the way into a corner, but you don't carry the speed on the way out of the corner uh, the same. Now, gotta be careful. One of the things that really will upset this vehicle is if you hit a curb while cornering. That is a recipe for definite falling over. Uh, we're gonna boot it and go chasing after Hyper. I mean, we know Hyper was quick at the previous circuit. In fact, this is the same top three. In fact, we are continuing to lead the way. We're going to definitely try and punch to the inside here. This is the sort of corner that the car will hate. This sort of quick change of direction, almost. It's not what you want. Uh, yeah, the same top three have pulled away again. 
Uh, which makes me think we've figured out obviously something, some style-wise to make these work uh, that the others have not. Hyper, if you can see Hyper's car leaning over. Uh, if we can straighten this up for the exit. Hyper's up onto two wheels. Good save. Good save indeed. They're not easy to catch when they do that. Um, I mean, these are a little bit more forgiving because they're quite extreme. Uh, these are that... Uh, uh, you get a little bit more time to catch them, essentially. Which is a bit strange to say, but they go up onto two wheels so easy, there is actually a bit of time. They're not quite as aggressive as like the 2CV and some of the vehicles we have had in previous Forza games. Uh, oh. Oh. God, I got very unhappy down there. Hyper has pulled a little bit of ground. We're jumping on the brakes. We're going to try and slow the car down through here. And this final section, this is a little bit sketchy. It's that... That weight transfer, you can see Hypers is up onto two wheels. Now we boot it up oh, and go for it down towards the first corner, but not too fast. <laughs> Hyper is up onto two wheels. Oh, and is in ghost mode for me. Thank God for that. I, that did not go ghost mode as quickly as I was hoping it was going to. <laughs> and Hyper is over. And I mean... Oh, it's a big time loss in this one. So again, we've just got to not do anything crazy stupid. Oh, uh, are we on three laps already? Did I, I might have missed a lap somewhere along the lines. I didn't realise we were this far into it. <laughs> I was so, so engrossed in the battle early on, I just lost track of a lap. Stevie's got over, is floundering around. Uh, ooh! <laughs> That is how quickly things can go up onto two wheels with this vehicle. It just easily does it down there. There's going to be a Blakey somewhere. Oh, Blakey's bobbling around uh, awkwardly through that section. Uh, we're going to... Okay, so that... Okay, as a start finish line. Yeah, I must have just miscounted the lap somewhere along the way. There is an Impega. Uh, I was not expecting to be left with Impega again. Uh, oh, there's a wall. There we go. That's fine. We're going to go not up onto two wheels. Ewan has snapped and fallen over through there. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of surprised. I mean, I've driven a lot of jelly cars. We, we normally do a jelly car race, multiple jelly car races on Forza games. I'm surprised I've got... We're all in an identical car. I'm surprised I've got this working as efficiently as I have. I mean, I'm normally quite good with these. I've driven enough dumb things in the past that it's not so bad. Oh, Chris is going to have a look to the inside. You know what? I'm not even going to fight that. If you want to go blasting past, by all means, go for it. Uh, oh, we're going to get leaned on. Uh, <laughs> don't want to get leaned on if I can help it. Oh, <laughs> Karma. Oh, no. <laughs> Karma got Chris for trying to take me out. Uh, I think that was what the game was there. Chris wanted to get rid of... Uh, oh, put, put me out of the race, having been lapped again. And then Chris fell over in trying to punt me. Uh, Peg has given up at turn one in all of this. Uh, we will just be careful through there. Um, yeah, Hyper has not recovered back up to second yet, despite being quick. I suspect Hyper may get a fast lap in all of this. Just... It's really difficult when you start losing time. And we're chasing Lado again. Come here, Lado. But we're chasing a Lado and a Gliska. Uh, can we lap a Lado? Oh, no, wait, that's a Stevie. Never mind, I take it back. Uh, we're chasing a Stevie and a Lado in all of this. Can we put two laps on Stevie? Uh, through here, careful. Down this section. There we go. That all works. Lado has fallen over spectacular style. Whoa, through the middle. <laughs> Ewan's found a technique. I mean, I guess that's one way to make it work. Oh! Stevie has gone for him. <laughs> that's twice we've had cars uh, fall over on the back of us. Oh dear. And then we wibble our way across the finish line. What are the lap times looking like in that one? Did we manage that? We had quite a quick lap at the end there. Uh, somehow, surprisingly. Yeah, again, hype is quicker. I'm not quite sure how us three are managing to go so quick with these. I'm slightly befuddled by that one. I'm going to presume some of the ones further down are to do with mistakes within their laps. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we have really found some speed. Hyper is just quick but falls over. We got it down to two finishers. We're on for records at this point. It's not quite what we were going for when I was sitting up to film this, but apparently it's what we're going to get. 
we head off to the city for this next race. Um, there is a slight possibility that a few cars are going to be targeting me during this. Uh, <laughs> Tis, tis possible. It might not. I don't. I'm not doing. I just don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm going quickly with this. Um, what I'm doing differently. But we're, we're going to see what happens. I might have to dodge out of the way of stuff. Um, who knows? We're starting towards the front. Um, we've got. We're, see, seems to be me. Hyper and Levercap are going quickly with these. Um, Hyper's making a few more mistakes. We're going to make the most of ghosty ghosty mode. Uh, <laughs> while we can, <laughs> Hyper's immediately fallen over. Now this is going to be a track where you hit curbs, you're in trouble. Uh, Danger Man's has savagely fallen over in all of that as well. Uh, we are going to go to the inside through there. I th Ooh, careful. Careful, he's going to be the name of the game. Nope, out of the wall. <laughs> if I can go an entire jelly car race video without falling over, it'd be amazing. I mean, oh, it's definitely got close a few times. But I just this has got it's not quite as savage as some of the vehicles I have we have built jelly cars of. Um, it does it, you get just a tiny fraction longer to catch it. Longbow has gone for a tumble. This corner here is gonna be nasty. I'm actually on the bumps, so we should go really slowly there. Um, it was just a better idea just to slow it down completely. You know what? I'm not even going to fight. I don't really want to do a crazy fight because I know, I know I'm better off just being that little bit careful. In a straight line, we know the truck's going to be okay. You know what, you can go for that. I didn't know what level of grip we were going to have. I'm okay with uh, just playing it carefully on this first lap. Uh, definitely, I don't want to hit the curb. I mean, you can see but me and Amy doing a very, very similar thing with the vehicle. You can actually see the way the, the car is twitching through here, it's just like you do a tiny little flick of the steering, tiny little flick of the steering and keep doing that. Uh, this is one of the most dangerous corners I think you'll ever drive a jelly car around. It's downhill, bump. it's kind of got little bumps to get the vehicle up onto its side, there's curbs to worry the car. Uh, we've got a great run there, but where am I going to put it? Do I want to have a dive up the inside here? No, because it's a fast corner and there are curbs involved. Uh, nope. Uh, oh, curb, don't like that. <laughs> I'm being really, really nervous of the curbs because I know in testing what they what they did uh, when I was building this car. Got a great run here. Uh, can we do something about... Oh, Ewan's going backwards. Blakey's fallen over. We're going to go through the middle of them. There is a danger man. Uh, and, oh, Amy's is up onto two wheels almost through there. Oh. Uh, Danger Man has fallen over! No, Danger Man has murdered me! <laughs> oh, I'm going to get stuck. Carl! Can you land on your wheels? That, oh, okay, well, Blakey just came flying through shot uh, on their side. God damn it. I think that one of the reasons why the fields get spread out. So, first of all, Forza does have a little bit longer reset time. But I actually think the way the suspension is on this Jeep, it freaks out so much that uh, it bounces around wildly for so long while it tries to set itself. Sorry, Blakey. Uh, didn't really know what else to do at that point. I mean, now we have really got to go for it if we're going to try and go for a victory here. Uh, I mean, we're not going to be able to do the whole jelly car video without falling over. Admittedly, we can still do an entire jelly car video without falling over on my own, seeing as that one was heavily assisted. Not, I don't think, intentionally. Uh, but it was very heavily assisted there. Uh, Danger Man was a, a, Danger Man was falling over anyway, and it's not exactly like uh, it can do much when it's when it does go. As I said, you get a little bit more leeway with this vehicle than we've perhaps seen in the past. Uh, however, when it once it is going, that's it. That's kind of a uh, it's happening one way or another. Is that a pink machine? I see, pinky purple machine. It is. Oh. Lock the brakes up. Stevie's fallen over. Stevie's in the ghost mode. I was going to try and punt. <laughs> I was going to try and push my way through on the inside there. Oh, we're going to have a lap to do this. I mean, we were. I was being a little cautious beforehand because I knew the dangers of a street circuit. I knew the dangers of the curbs. Uh, I mean, we have been absolutely brutal this lap around. I don't know whether that will have fallen over. We kind of got to throw caution to the wind. We're well clear of Chris in third. So yeah, this is just going to be a blast and see what we can do here on the final lap of the race. Oh, and Amy's fallen over. Oh, it's going to bounce. It's landed on the wheels, though, so it's not going to have fallen too far back. That's a relatively clean loss of time there. 
Uh, much better than my break dancing in the corner. Oh, a little bit of a lock-up going on there, but that's fine. There's a Ewan. Ewan is in reverse. I think Ewan's having a protest at this point. Uh, where are we going to go? Down there. That works for me. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no! It was really slow as well. That was the dumbest. Oh, although Ewan has got in the way of Amy, so <laughs> it's now... It's now a straight-up fight. We're going to try and sneak ourselves up the inside here. There is a Lado. We're going to try and shoot the gap. Lado tried and failed to uh, pin us to the wall. And Amy's up onto two wheels. We're going to go past Danger Man. Danger Man fell over trying to take us out. We're now on a really tight line for the final corner. There's an upside down Blakey, I think it is. And it is going to be across the line for us, bloody hell. And that one we had to work for. <laughs> that one we had to work for. There was some... Uh, that, I think oh, that fourth lap was a monster as one trying to catch back up, although I do think Amy may well have had some moments uh, for that one. Yeah, lap time-wise, we were a little... Again, Hyper gets fastest lap of the race, but <laughs> apparently can't hold it together for the length of a race in this one. Uh, Chris gets onto the podium uh, for the first time in this one. Is anyone else going to finish? Are we going to continue the theme of... Yep. <laughs> no more than three cars can finish one of these races. Oh, that was a battle. That was a battle and a half up at the front. So, we are on to our final race with these rather silly vehicles. I am hoping that, uh, well, I mean, we're not going to be winning because Blakey's managed to pick the wrong car. Uh, I'm hoping, though, that we're going to win of the Toyotas, at least, in this. And... Well, we're coming from the back of the field. So, this track... We drove around this track a little while ago. Could be quite could be quite nasty actually. There's some sort of medium, sort of longer medium speed corners are gonna be funky with these. Turn one in particular is gonna be a uh, nasty, nasty corner. Uh, we will see how this one uh, how this one pans out. I think someone disconnected on the on the start line. There's some sliding going on. Uh, I'm going to not be turning as much <laughs> <laughs> it's just littered with vehicles. Ewan is going backwards. <laughs> and Change of Man has fallen over. And Chris has fallen over. Hyper is to the lead of the race. I think so far Hyper's got fast slap in every single one of these. Uh, can we do anything about that? I don't know. We might have a look down the... Oh, okay. Well, we thought about having a look down the inside. I'm wary of that curb. Uh, oh, that's a... Oh, I'm stuck on the tyre bundle. <laughs> Now I thought about trying to uh, get some speed down there and ran a little bit wide. Oh, Hyper's fallen over, so that's going to give me a golden opportunity to take the lead. Not that... Uh... Oh, God. Uh... Come on now. Let us... Nope! Behave around there. That was a little too much. Come on, land on your wheels. Thank you. Okay, of the rolls, that one is about as good as you get. <laughs> That is literally as little a time loss as we can imagine. Danger Man's gone to the inside and Danger Man has done a front flip. Uh, I don't even know how you've managed to do that. That is quite impressive. Uh, <laughs> I'm now a little bit concerned. I don't know whether that was involved with hitting the wall. I mean, I'm not even going... I'm now a little bit wary about going full uh, brake pressure into these corners if that's something that can happen. It doesn't really look like it's something that's happening to Hyper's car. Um either in the braking zones. I think I must have clicked a wall or something for that one to occur. It's a little bit strange. Oh, Hyper's gone for a big roll. I'm actually locked up and struggling to make that corner. That is a horrible, that was a difficult turn for me to get to, but uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we are to the lead of the race. Nope, that was just immediately bail out of the corner. <laughs> It's like, as soon as it goes up onto two wheels, you have to bail. I would rather throw it in a wall than roll it at this point. That's, that is the way you get around a lap. That's the way you get oh, through this, is if it goes up onto two wheels, just throw it. Like the second it does, throw it the other way and just prevent the roll. You'll lose a lot less time pinging it off the wall uh, than you will if you actually go for a full-on flip. I don't know how much speed we can take through there, but it's going to probably not be very much. Hyper's tried to take a little bit more than me uh, this time around. Do I defend into turn one? Do I not? I'm not actually that bothered, Hyper. If you want to go for the inside, by all means, because you're on a tighter line through there, and a tighter line means more steering lock, which means more likely to roll. Hyper's having a look now. 
Uh, are you going to have a dive up the inside? Maybe. Oh, I'm struggling to stop. Okay. Really did not get stopped into turn number two or whatever corner number that is. Um, yeah, not great. This section here oh, is difficult and hype has gone over in front of me again. That's twice now at the same bloody corner. The problem is, is that you're so you're just I, I'm grip limited at that point. I can't change my I can't change my line through the corner because I've got no grip. I've got nothing I can work with anymore in this vehicle. So it's just that's what we're doing. Ooh, that's a wall. Okay, I mean, Hyper didn't bounce around and take ages to get reset, so we are one mistake away from disaster at this point. Let's not do that. Essentially, I like this track. Like, as far as tracks go, this is a fun, this is a fun circuit. Uh, for normal racing, for these, it's difficult. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Oh, we've got a wander going on down the start finish line. That is not what I want at all. Stop wandering around, car. Bloody hell. That's always sketchy. Um, we have got... Our Danger Man has slipped out of the top three. Where is that purple car? Okay, it's a little further back. Uh, that is okay. There is a Lado. I do think it might be more difficult to pass a Lado this time around. It's almost like a Lado is waiting for me. Uh, uh, nope. <laughs> I know what was going to happen at the corner. I know exactly what was going to happen at the corner, and Lado managed to beans it. Oh no, not again. Lado, I was too busy laughing, and oh, Lado's fallen over anyway, never mind, it doesn't matter. Uh, I knew what was going to happen at the corner, but Lado fell over before he even managed to enact the torpedo. Our clipping of the wall, I think Hyper's fallen over anyway. Blakey's up to second. I mean, we don't really count Blakey wherever that stock car is. Uh, he doesn't really, he's not really going to count. Although I think those are on slick tyres. They're not exactly going to be really enjoying life here. Uh, oh, come on, you bugger. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to be racing the stock car. Uh, hello, Danger Man. You're going to not be able to move across in time to do anything there. <laughs> Got to react quicker. Uh, here comes a Blakey with a stock car. I'm, I'm not going to race the stock car. Stock car, you want to go past? By all means. I'm going to brake nice and early. Uh, you can... Oh, Danger Man has, has murdered us, but we are on our wheels again. Uh, and we're in ghost mode. Uh, oh, no, Hyper has come through. <laughs> Will Hyper fall over at the same corner as every other lap? I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of half expecting it to happen, really. Um, come on, don't do it. Don't don't get in trouble here. I mean, if Hyper does fall over, oh, we got a bounce going on there. And a half. Hyper's gone wide, but hasn't fallen over this time around. Uh, that is better. Doesn't fall over through here. I'd actually a little slow. Oh, I just get magneted towards that tyre bundle. Liska is bouncing and in an awkward place, but we do dodge that one. Oh dear. Oh well, unless Hyper falls over, we're going to run out of lap to catch up with that car. Uh, I mean, really, that's when you tell me about rewinds, not the, uh, you know, oh, I think Blakey pulled over, actually. So it's, uh, it was a legit victory. Uh, Hyper, Unless Hyper beams it on the final corner, uh, which Hyper does not. It is around. We bobble and wobble our way, but it's not going to be enough. Uh, Hyper is going to take... I mean, it's a victory. It was a little bit uh, assisted, shall we say, in all of that. Uh, yeah. Um, well, that is some jelly car racing. Uh, these are wibbly wobbly fully over things that are... Well, I mean, they live up to their name. Apparently, well, like three of us are able to get some quite, sim I say, quite similar speed. I seem to be able to be really consistent with this car, and I don't know why. Um, but this seems to be hyper can do the fastest lap. I can seem to be way, way more consistent in this one. And Amy's not that far away from me in terms of sort of pace and consistency. Uh, but yeah, there we go. The jelly cars—they do work on Horizon Five, and in some ways, they are more ridiculous than in. Horizon 4, um, they work in the dry, which is odd, to say the least. The Scout also uh, can work in the dry. There are a few vehicles I expected to work, don't, um, but like the Scout can also work in the dry, so I'm not quite sure what changes of the physics have done to the game. Me and 20 miles an hour, we fall over. It's been a while since we've had a vehicle can fall over at 20 miles an hour in the dry. Not since some of the very silly cars in uh, motorsport, but... Uh, yeah, there we go. That is that is it for 
some Horizon 5 Jelly Car Racing. There, this, this tune is shared. I'll put a, the, the code thing in the description if you want to uh, have a go with it yourself and try and try and race it and figure it out. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye. <laughs>